Hello! Welcome back to the channel! If you're new here, my name is Carla, and I've been doing this series on my channel where I practice some digital painting and learn about different dog breeds. So if you like painting and you like dogs, definitely stick around. And I can't believe we're already on the letter O, like we've done so many dogs already. And if you would like to see where some of these dogs have ended up, then definitely check out our shop, Beck Dogs on Etsy. And some of them have become stickers, some of them have become phone cases, but let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get it started. So the Otter Hound can be traced back to like medieval time England. The breed was developed for otter hunting, as the name suggests, which was a popular sport among English nobility from the Middle Ages through the 19th century. The breed's ancestors are thought to include several types of hounds, including the Bloodhound, the French Griffon, and the Southern Hound. But over time, the Otter Hound became a distinct breed with its own unique characteristics and physical features. So the breed was particularly popular in the 18th and 19th century when otter hunting was at its peak. However, the popularity of the sport declined in the 20th century and the Otter Hound became a rare breed. Today, there are a few hundred Otter Hounds in the world and the breed is considered to be endangered. Some of the reasons why the Otter Hound is considered to be endangered is a combination of factors, primarily due to the fact that otter hunting was banned in the UK in the 1970s and therefore there hasn't been that much demand for the breed and the popularity just declined very rapidly which made the gene pool very small and so breeders are having a hard time expanding the gene pool in order to prevent inbreeding and have responsible breeders. And due to all of that combined, the breed has kind of declined and has been struggling to keep up. The breed is known for its friendly, outgoing personality and its love of water and its impressive tracking abilities. And while otter hounds are no longer used for otter hunting anymore, they remain a popular family pet and show dog. They make a great choice for families with children and they tend to get along with other dogs and pets although they may have a strong prey drive due to their history of otter hunting. Due to their energetic and curious nature as well, otter hounds require plenty of exercise and mental stimulation and they enjoy long walks, hikes, swimming and they're the happiest when they have plenty of space to run and play so if you live an active lifestyle then this is a pretty good breed for you. They are also very intelligent dogs that benefit from obedience training and socialization at an early age and while otter hounds can be affectionate and loyal to their owners, they can be independent and stubborn at times. So it's best to get them into training as early as possible. So if you remember back to like the second dog we did, like the beagle, the otter hound and other hounds are known for their distinctive bay or a loud deep bark that they use to communicate with their owners and other dogs. So just be aware that hounds are just known to have this bay and I hope you enjoy that <laughs> before getting them. Otter hounds are large dogs and they typically weigh between 80 to 115 pounds and they stand around 24 to 27 inches tall at the shoulder. Their coat is also thick and wiry and waterproof, which came in handy when they were otter hunting in the cold waters of England. This is the finished painting. So I think it came out really well. <laughs> I was worried that it was gonna look like a dog with only one eyeball, but I really tried to capture their like shaggy long eyebrows. Um, they usually have this like shaggy appearance and I think I was able to do it. It took a very long time drawing all these individual hairs, but it was worth it and I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.